What's up everyone, the 5 here with a brand new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Ewing Athletics Rogue Retro for 2014. Big, big release. So before I start the video, I want to give a, send a major thanks to uh, Ewing Athletics for giving the 5 York the opportunity to show you guys, give you guys a first uh, video look at the Ewing Rogue Retro. This is a monumental release for all of us and uh, it really means a lot. So, thank you once again. Now, the Ewing Rogue was uh, originally named the Ewing Rogue 2, this model anyway, and it was a European model that released around 93, 94. Over the years, you've seen maybe a few pictures of these uh, floating around on the forums, and it's been a shoe that's been in high, high demand over the years, but it's also a shoe that we thought would never never see the light of day again. It's like just one of those shoes that you said, ah, yeah, they look hot, but they'll never come back. And to actually be holding the shoe, the retro, uh, it's something special. So first, before I touch on, you know, the colors and all that stuff, let's talk about the strap. Now, I know a lot of people, especially the younger generation that maybe didn't even know about this shoe's existence and is new to the brand, is saying, well, that strap uh, copies the Jordan 8 and the Nike Air Raid. So the thing about back in the day is that brands were borrowing from each other all the time. Nike did it, Reebok did it, Adidas did it, all the major brands. Some did it tastefully and some did it like straight knockoff status, you know, like a brand like LA Gear. Now, LA Gear, they had some designs that were nice. You know, some of them were nice and some of them weren't straight knockoffs. But then you had some that were just straight ripoffs. Um, with Ewing Athletics, they tended to, they did borrow design, um, you know, certain design aspects from different shoes. But what you have to give their design, you have to tip your hat to the designers um, from back in the day that they would take those design um, cues and they would basically make it their own. And that's what they did with this shoe. And uh, it's just such a sick shoe. And the retro is pretty true to the original. Um, the toe box is a little bit, a little bit wider than the original, but that's a good thing because the original was pretty narrow. And then you had, um, you had the color. The color is not as dark as the original. This is a lighter shade, but it works very, very well. They got that fade correct with the splatter print or the speckle print. And now I know some of you guys, you're trying to figure out how you're gonna wear these. Um, in my opinion, I like it just like this. I think it looks good, but I'll just give you a look as to what this shoe is gonna look like if you decide that you want to get a little creative with it. So, oh, and by the way, this, the inner material for the uh, the straps is, is like nice and soft. So if you're planning on wearing them like this, this is what you're gonna get. You know, it's gonna look like this. You're not gonna see Patrick Ewing's signature anymore. It's gonna look like that. It's gonna look like this from the side. And I mean, that's if, if you wanna wear them like that, hey, whatever floats your boat. But uh, yeah, I prefer to wear them just straight up straps across. And uh, it gives you a nice secure, nice secure fit. And uh, it's just such a dope release. I know um, if you guys follow Nike Talk, the uh, the Ewing Rogue is actually one of the most requested models. And so for us to really have these, I'm telling you, it's like surreal to have these in, in hand. And this is a retro and I'm not scared to wear them. You know, they're not gonna fall apart on me. And uh, there's some other colorways uh, slated to come out. Um, and some good stuff coming, so 
I think you guys will definitely, definitely enjoy these. They're supposed to release later, uh, later in the month, later this month, or I don't know if they're going to come out in November, but from what I understand, they're going to come out uh, very soon. Uh, they should be hitting stores within the next week or two or something like that. And that's that. So I'll give you guys just a little bit close up of the materials used. Very nice. It's got that Achilles pad. This Achilles pad doesn't, um, is not as thick as the, uh, the 33 high. But it's, it's thick, but it's not as thick in my opinion. Uh, but as far as sizing goes, um, definitely whatever you wear in a 33 high, I would pick up in these. But you will have more room in the width department by your toe than you, you have had with like the center high, um, the guard, and the 33 high. Even the focus. Um, I find that these have a little bit more room in the width department. So you guys will enjoy that. And uh, so that's it. That's this part of the video. Next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys what they look like on your feet with shorts and with jeans. All right, everyone, so that's the video. Got to see what they look like on your feet with shorts and with jeans. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please, please, please feel free to drop me a line. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.